Hello guys, it's me, Bear Tiger, and today I want to show you a little tutorial on how to create a checkpoint system in Construct 2. I will show you a very easy way to do a checkpoint system, so don't expect a very advanced system or something like that. It's very easy. So, the first thing we are going to do is create a new object, a sprite object to be exactly. We call it checkpoint. We can already place it and then I get my, I have these two sprites created already. You can actually use whatever you want. You get first your disabled state, that's my disabled state, my red one. That's why I call my uh, animation red. And then I create another animation and call it green because my other one is green. You can name it whatever you want. You just have to use two different ones and it's nice if you indicate if it's activated or not. So, that's our checkpoint object now. Now I create a new event sheet just to keep everything clean and call it checkpoint. So, here we will do our checkpoint stuff but first we go into the main event sheet. I just used the, stand, the default uh, platformer template of Construct 2, two so don't, yeah, that's not mine. So now we click right click and click on include event sheet and double click on our event sheet, on my checkpoint event sheet. So let's go back to the checkpoint event sheet and create uh, add an event. Uh, we choose player, is overlapping another object and we choose the checkpoint so and we need another condition uh, the checkpoint is playing and the disabled animation because we will go into the actions and say set animation to green that we can already run it um, now just turns on the light turns on and nothing happens more but now we're gonna add two new global variables the first one we call checkpoint underscore x and the other one checkpoint underscore y so we need to set these variables if the player collides with it we set it to the checkpoint X we set to player dot X and the uh, Y position we set to checkpoint dot Y. That's because we don't want our player to jump into the checkpoint and that he gets respawned in the air. We want him to spawn every time on the same spot from the height. That's why we do that. I will show you that in a minute because now we go back to the place where the player gets respawned. That's in this time, it's this part. If the Y is under the layout height, we restart the layout. We don't want that anymore. We want to add another condition and say compare variable X not equal to zero. And another condition y not equal to zero then we want player to where is it where is it oh sorry ah down here set position to checkpoint x and checkpoint y of course, if you have some variables you want to reset, you have to reset them in here as well. That's where your player dies. So you have to redo everything, reset everything you want. You have to reset it here. But I don't want to reset anything because I'm actually only uh, using the platformer template of Construct2, so I don't have to change anything here. So, okay. And if that's... And I want to copy that and in click right click on them and invert them because if the checkpoint is activated and he falls down we want to 
we start the layout because that's what normally would happen but we will um check if it if a uh, uh, checkpoint is already activated if it act is activated we spawn the player at the checkpoint so right here we see the point is in the middle that's good okay let's start it one time and if i fall down here it just gets restarted but if i go into the checkpoint and fall down we get respawned here and we can actually go go here now and create some of them like one here one here one here and if i restart and we just start the game now and go into this and fall down i spawn here but if i go to the next one and fall down here i spawn here then yeah it works perfectly well that was my little tutorial on how to do a very simple uh, checkpoint system i hope you liked it and it wasn't too hard i hope it's my first get construct tool tutorial so i hope it wasn't too complicated or something like that uh feel free to like my video or dislike it or write and comment i really like comments <laughs> so um and if you really like my videos you can subscribe to me and uh, stay up to date with my new videos because um actually i want to do some more construct tool tutorials now and yeah that's it um see you later guys and Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye. Oops.